I can't remember when I first heard about UTMB. It must have been at least 10 years ago when I started my ultra running journey and somebody must have said to me, have you ever done UTMB or are you going to do UTMB? And from that moment, the idea of this iconic race in the French Alps and the Swiss Alps and the Italian Alps has, uh, has captivated me. And I did my first UTMB race in 2018 and I'll link it up there. It's the CCC race. If you don't know about UTMB, let me explain a bit about what it is. See, UTMB isn't just one race. It's a whole series of races uh, in the UTMB Running Week Festival that happens at the end of August each year. The main races are the OCC, which is 56 kilometers, the CCC, which is just over 100 kilometers, and the main UTMB race itself, which is 170 kilometers, well over 100 miles. And those three races make up the World Series. Uh, there are other races as well in UTMB. There are some shorter races. Uh, there's one called TDS, which I'm sure you know if you watch the channel I did last year, which is, well, it was almost 100 miles. Um, and then there's a much longer one called PTL, but the main three Three are those OCC, CCC and UTMB. Now if you live in Europe, chances are that UTMB will be the pinnacle of your ultra running career. If you're just getting into ultra running, then that's the thing that many people aspire to go to. If you're in the States, you might argue you want to do Western States because that is the oldest 100 mile race in the world and that would be the pinnacle of an ultra running career for many people as well. But the UTMB races are not easy. You do have to qualify by doing other events to prove that you are capable of taking part in the UTMB races. And even then, there's no guarantee that you'll complete them. I've been out to Chamonix four times now. The first time was to complete the CCC race in 2018. And then I've had three attempts at TDS, finishing it on the third attempt. But we go back every year because Chamonix is so beautiful and during UTMB week it's alive with activity. It's so exciting to be there and the races are stunning in the most beautiful locations, fabulous views and just the most amazing experience. But UTMB isn't for everyone and there are a couple of downsides to the whole thing. Firstly, UTMB is really busy. The week itself, the races are absolutely crammed full of people and that may not be for you. A lot of people's idea of trail running and ultra running is to get out on the hills alone and enjoy the solitude and the silence. If that's you, then maybe UTMB isn't for you. The other thing is that maybe UTMB are known for being a bit of an aggressive organisation in terms of monopolising the sport. So they do swoop in and take over races that they like to make them one of their branded races. Uh, I said before that you have to qualify and you have to qualify by taking part in one of UTMB's own qualification races. And they have them all over the world uh, and you collect running stones uh, the problem is, of course, that means that you're tied in to the UTMB ecosystem. But to some degree, that is business. Race directors of successful races, you don't have to sell your race to UTMB and cash in. And runners, you don't have to pay UTMB's huge prices to go and run around Mont Blanc. A flight to Geneva isn't that expensive. And you can go and hike or run around the TMB route without any problem at all. And of course, I'm sure there are plenty of beautiful trails near where you live, which you can go and enjoy every day. So this year we are back in Chamonix and I am running the full 170 kilometer UTMB main race. That is a full circumnavigation of Mont Blanc from Chamonix all the way round and back to Chamonix. So that's what this training series is all about. We are on week two of training for UTMB. So I'm gonna take you through all the sessions I did last week in week two. Before that though, if you're enjoying the video, please do subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you're interested in getting a treadmill, because you know I do a lot of my sessions on the treadmill, I'm wearing my Noble Pro top today. There is a link down below to buy yourself a Noble Pro treadmill with a discount with my code in the description below. Below. So go and check that out. So it 
was another 100 kilometer week. We just managed to squeeze in 100 kilometers with a bit of cramming at the end of the week. Uh, all in, it was about 57 kilometers on the treadmill and 44 or so outdoors. So we started bright and early on Monday morning last week with 10K here on the seafront in Worthing, recording uh, the first episode of the UTMB training series videos. Monday evening, we were on the treadmill. We did 10K on Zwift in the community run. Nice and easy, low heart rate. So all in, 20K on Monday, mostly zones one and two. Now, because I'm training for a race in the mountains, it makes sense to do some elevation. So Tuesday morning on the treadmill with the treadmill at 12% incline, we climbed 500 meters in the Film My Run 500. Tuesday evening, we were back on the treadmill again on Zwift. Six kilometers, nice and easy. And that made around about 10 kilometers for the day. So 30 kilometers in total for the week so far. So if you saw the first video in the series, you'll know that Wednesday is my interval session on the treadmill. Uh, we do the same session every week. It's 600 meters just above threshold pace and 400 meters just below threshold pace for 10 kilometers. So that's what we did on Wednesday. Thursday morning, we were back on the treadmill, climbing 500 meters at 12% incline on Zwift. Thursday evening, we were back on the treadmill yet again for another session on Zwift. Uh, only did just over 5K this time, and a total of about 50K for the week so far. And we finished off the working week with 10K on Zwift on Friday evening. So that made a total of around 60K from Monday to Friday with one hard interval session on Wednesday. Normally on a Saturday morning, I would be out doing park run. However, I've been trying to fit in a hill rep session and I hadn't had a chance all week. So Saturday morning, I did a short outside hill rep session. The problem with doing hill reps on the treadmill is that you don't get the downhills. And as I've said before, and I'll say it again, the downhills is what will kill your quadriceps and stop you running on the UTMB races. So when you're doing training for hill work, you need to do the downhills as well. So I got outside and did a hill rep session on Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon's run was a bit annoying. We were in Crawley because my son Ellis was doing a track race there. So I thought I'd go and have a little jog around Tilgate Park, Tilgate Forest. And I, I put a map on my watch and tried to follow it, but it was far too small to see. I don't know why. I never had problems with maps and navigation before, but for this run, for some reason, I just couldn't see the route I was supposed to be doing. So it was a bit of a mishmash, rubbish run really, but we did six, seven K in Tilgate Forest on Saturday afternoon. And then on Sunday, I was racing. We went to Southampton to run the Lord's Hill 10K of all things. It was great, lots of fun. I've done it twice before uh, and I was invited to come and run it again. I took my camera along, so there will be a film of the Lord's Hill 10K coming out soon. But yeah, that was good fun and a hard effort as well. Didn't get under sub 40, tried hard, but uh, I'm nowhere near fit enough yet to get under 40 minutes. So it was about 42 minutes for 10K. But that wasn't the end of the running because we were on 94 kilometers. <laughs> So I had to get on the treadmill because uh, there's a bit of OCD there and I had to get up to 100k. So I did about 101 kilometers, 6k on the treadmill on Sunday evening. So because I'm training for a mountain race, I'm supposed to be focusing more in this training block on elevation gain than speed. Uh, but it hasn't really worked out that well this week. I've only done about 1,300 meters of elevation gain. It's about four and a half thousand feet of gain. Uh, so a bit of speed work and a little bit of elevation work this week. Maybe we need to increase that elevation work for next week. I do have two races next week. Uh, they're club races though, and thankfully they are trail races as well. So it does mean that during those races, I will get some elevation gain in. And we're sticking with 100K again next week. Week number three, we'll do 100 kilometers and I'll try and get over 2000 meters of elevation gain in. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please do subscribe to the channel. If you want to catch up on the first of this training series, then uh, watch that link right there. And we'll see you on the start line next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.